all right guys this is just a, a video uh quickly on i just want to show you guys how how fast it is to fill up your 13 ci tanks and your your 40 your, yeah your foot in your 48 uh ci tanks um yeah these are uh they're scuba tanks but they're basically these ones are the ones the air venturi that little guy on the right, that's the Air Venturi 74 cubic feet wingman tank, it's called. And then the other bigger one, um, I got that one from AliExpress. That was about half the price. At, uh, I don't know, it was just over 400 bucks at the time I got it. I think they go for right around just under five right now. They went up a little bit. Um... Yeah, um, the big one there, that cheap alley one, I don't know if it's because of the lines or the fittings or whatever, but it actually fills a lot quicker than the other one. Not a lot, but a decent amount. Um, it just takes seconds versus minutes with a, a compressor. The compressors are big, they're heavy, you can't, they're not portable really, you can't really take them out in the field with you or hunting or anything like that. It's just not practical to carry with you. <clears throat> um... Yeah, they're both 4,500 PSI carbon fiber tanks. Um, I got it on the TV there, but that's the Air Venturi Wingman. It's about 800 Canadian before taxes, so it's close to 1,000 with taxes. And then you got that other one there I got off AliExpress, which is this guy. Um, yeah, that one was just slightly over 400 bucks Canadian. That's pretty good. Um, they got next sizes up. They're a bit more. I think it's more around, I don't know, six for the alley one. It's a, an ace care tank. I noticed air gun stores are selling the alley ones now too. Um, the thing is with those is some places won't fill them because they're European standard. And the Air Venturi wingman over there, that's DOT certified. So anyone will fill that one in. They got a long time. I think they got like a 10 or a 15 year lifespan, the carbon fiber ones versus the steel ones. And they're much, much, much lighter. Uh, they're not as heavy as the, the steel. Um, yeah, that's, so I got, uh, got a, I'm going to fill up a, a 13 CI bottle, a CU bottle, whatever. And then a 48, so almost four times the size, that one. And I just want to show you how fast compared to um, getting a compressor these are to fill up. Um, yeah, and then when your tanks get down and out, um, you just take them to a paintball store or a scuba store, a scuba shop, a dive shop. And I get both those tanks filled for about 19, 20 bucks plus tax, like 22 bucks, maybe $23 and yeah they last a long time like both of those tanks filled they last me more than the summer so running tests and just observing things and new products and stuff like that but not even really shooting like uh you gotta be so you'd go through you're just sitting at a table every day firing and stuff and practicing but yeah for twenty dollars like you won't even spend near a hundred dollars a year filling these and both together probably cost less than a, a decent uh, compressor. Um, I'd like to have a compressor to fill these up with so I don't have to take them out. But at the same time, it's 20 bucks for two tanks. You can't go wrong. Same with these tanks. You take that in, I think it's like 10 or 12. Yeah, see, 10 or 12 bucks a tank. It don't matter what size it is. They charge you the same for all. So you're better off with a bigger tank. Um... I'm going to start out with this 13 CI one. Um, I think I had a leak in that big tank, just a slight one there earlier, but I think I might have fixed it, so we'll find out now. I just want to show you we're on zero. We're riding in the zero column. And we're going to put it up to 3,000. I believe both tanks should be still in the 3,000 ranges because I've used some from 45, but when one tank drops under... 3,000 PSI, 
whatever, if it's sitting at 2,000, well, you just fill the tank up with 2,000 PI, PSI, and then you just quickly de disconnect the cable and plug the other one in and then just turn the knob and a couple seconds later and it should be top right up bulls. Um, yeah, so I think, yeah, you guys seen that. Writing into zero. So all you do is you just lift this guy off, the little rubber cap, you take your quick connect and then you just set it in and then the pressure release, the hose release valve is right there. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn it now. Look at that, 3,000 already. Probably three seconds, not even. I'm going to release the line. There, you're ready to shoot now. That was quick. Now here goes a bottle that's four times the size. <clears throat> oh, let me show you. We're on zero with this too. <clears throat> There's always someone out there who's going to say, oh, well, we didn't see the gauge. Well, there you go. This one's for you guys. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, we'll just connect that on the knob. Ready, set, done. And then, turn this one on now. Oh yeah, this one's a little bit longer. I can feel the bottle getting warm. Oh my god, instantly in my hand. There, it's done. Uh, bottle four times the size in seconds. Release the pressure and you're done. I can sit here and fill up ten bottles. Uh, in less than five in less than 30 seconds no sorry less than about a minute you know what i mean can your air compressors do that that's why i went with these tanks because they're just so much effective you can throw one in the trunk in the car they're really not that big they're not in the way i built that little wooden stand there for them just to keep them upright but uh yeah what do you guys think air compressor or tank <laughs> Um, oh yeah, look, here, I'll quickly show you. They're really warm. So see, we got that one up. And then, oh yeah, this one's really warm too. The bigger one's a lot warmer, but... Yeah, you guys see, it's halfway up the gauge. <clears throat> and... I got another one here. This one's at, these are all three of these tanks, they're 1100 PSI output. These big ones uh, come with the, well one of them come with the SMG22, that fully auto 22 marker I showed you guys. So yeah, here I may as well do this one too while we're at it. <clears throat> Just crank that, attach this, turn it on. There we go. Yeah, this tank's definitely under. It's under 3,000. Take that off and you're done. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Um, it's a lot cheaper than an air compressor. A lot more convenient. And yeah, you can pretty much take them anywhere you want in three seconds. You got yourself a bottle filled um, Yeah, man, that's about as good as it gets for me. There is no other way um, You can get the tanks a lot bigger than this too. So and Depending on how much you should just using them for less lethal and stuff. You can even get smaller ones in these but yeah, I recommend getting the 4500 PSI ones because the 3000 ones, once you use it a couple times, it goes under 3000 PEI, PSI, you're going to have to use a hand pump to top off or just shoot at what you got. But yeah, anyways, guys, just wanted to let you guys know that it's a, it's a better option, I think, than an air compressor. But yeah, man, you guys take care and stay safe.